Hey everyone, Nick here and welcome back to GameTube, and welcome back to our amazing digital circus character concept series. So in today's video we're looking into one of the secret characters we see on the doors in episode 1, and we're naming this character Wiggly. So we'll be going into this character's possible backstory, but before we do any of that, do be sure to leave a like and subscribe to GameTube as it helps a lot and it's greatly appreciated. It also keeps you updated with all the videos that we post. And as always, we just like to mention this brief disclaimer. We here at GameTube acknowledge that what we are about to say isn't the official name and backstory for this character. This is just a fan theory slash story that we have come up with and expect it to be treated as such. We are not stating that anything we say is fact or linked to the overall canonical universe of Amazing Digital Circus. This is just a fun story we get to tell and we hope you enjoy. Alrighty, well, with that out of the way, let's get the character concept of Wiggly. So, previously in our Amazing Digital Circus character concept series, we've been looking into the past characters who unfortunately abstracted and are no longer with the original crew. And the character we came up with was Womble. Womble was a character who, like Pomni, desperately tried to escape the digital circus. But despite all his efforts, he was trapped in the endless office area. After spending so much time alone, he finally snapped and abstracted. Been abstracted. That, that's okay. What? Luckily, no one was hurt and Kane swiftly banished him to the cellar. Into the cellar you go. And now Womble wasn't alone anymore. He was joined by all the other abstracted ones deep down below. But sadly, there were many more characters before Womble at the Digital Circus, and each of their tragic stories would soon be told. So with this forgotten character, we actually see them in Episode 1. We actually see a bunch of other forgotten characters in the first episode as well. But as far as we know, these abstracted characters have never been named. But we're here to give a name and a backstory to these unfortunate characters. And the first door we're starting with is this one. So we'll be naming this character Wiggly. So from the look of Wiggly's face, we figured that his body would look like this. The way in which he looks is oddly familiar. It's almost a mix between the Magic Wiggle Worm toy and the Weasel Ball toy. All the characters in the show appear to be inspired by famous toys, games, and other media. And it might just be that this is what inspired Wiggly. So exactly when Wiggly appeared in the Digital Circus isn't very clear. Obviously, it was before Pomni, but it could have been before some of the other characters as well. Regardless, when Wiggly arrived at the circus, it wasn't the typical first interaction. Instead of freaking out when he arrived, he was actually thrilled. This crazy and whimsical place was everything that he ever dreamed of. He was always eager to join in on Kane's daily adventures, and would give 110% every time. Wiggly didn't know for sure, but he felt like it would have been quite a lonely person outside the circus. He seemed much more at home and welcomed in this digital landscape. He loved everything about it. Wiggly was one of Kane's favourite human characters. Seeing that he was always excited for any new adventure that Kane would design, it was easy to see why he was his favourite. He also got on great with the rest of the crew as well. So with Wiggly being so happy and friendly, why would his picture be crossed out? He loved it here at the Digital Circus. It doesn't seem very likely that he'd have a mental break and abstract. But in fact, it was his enthusiasm and excitement that was his undoing. He was so eager to set out on his daily adventures, sometimes he'd sneak off by himself and do them alone. He'd even figure out what the daily adventure was before Kane had even announced it. But on one unfortunate day, Wiggly stumbled upon an adventure that he should have never gone on. He was far too excited and couldn't wait until the next day. So Wiggly snuck out of his room and snooped around to find what the next adventure was. Considering that Kane would always make the adventures appear on the spot, it wasn't very common for an adventure to be open before Kane was ready. But Wiggly found one of Kane's portals and couldn't contain his excitement. So without hesitation, he rushed on through to see what it was. This area that Kane designed was quite strange. It didn't seem like a very happy place. It was quite dark and honestly pretty spooky. Maybe Kane was trying to make a scary level for the crew's next adventure. But as scary as this area is, there was one major problem. This area wasn't completed yet. And an incomplete level can be very dangerous for a human player to explore. It wouldn't be very stable and it would also be filled with multiple bugs and glitches. And if Wiggly wasn't careful, he could possibly get himself into a lot of trouble. And as you can see from his crossed out picture on the door, things didn't go so well in this unfinished digital landscape. As Wiggly was exploring this creepy area, he suddenly fell through the map. Just like we see in episode 2, Wiggly found himself in the liminal developer stage of this level. 
All that surrounds him are endless blue grids. Wiggly has never seen anything like this before. Everything is usually colourful and fun, but this place is sterile and boring. There was nothing fun for him to do down here. But this didn't stop Wiggly from trying to get back to the circus. He loved the circus so dearly and he would give anything to go back. But sadly for Wiggly, he never made it back. It turns out that Kane wasn't very happy with this level design anyway. He thought it would be an interesting idea, but in the end he grew tired of this project. So piece by piece, he started deleting this horror themed area. But little did he know that Wiggly was still in here. No one was meant to be in here. There really isn't meant to be a way for players to access unfinished levels. But unfortunately, Wiggly and his curiosity found a way to sneak in. But with one last command, the entire level and Wiggly was deleted in an instant. Nobody knows what happens to items when they are deleted. Not even Kane knows where these deleted assets end up. So it seems that Wiggly never abstracted. In fact, he was accidentally deleted by Kane. But who knows? Wiggly could still be alive and out there amongst the void. Soon after, Kane realised what he had done. At this point, it wasn't possible to go search for Wiggly. But that day, Kane learned a valuable lesson. Always double check what you delete. The crew started asking questions when they noticed Wiggly had disappeared. So Kane told them all that he abstracted and that he banished him to the cellar. Kane would never admit what he did wrong, and he would rather lie to them than tell them the horrible truth. But this is nothing new. Kane is always hiding something and is full of secrets. It appears he is a much darker character than we initially think, and it seems that he has no remorse for his actions. But Wiggly's story is definitely a tragic one. And the sad truth is that there's many more characters that are crossed out on the doors. And as to what their stories will be, we'll just have to wait and see. So I think a happy-go-lucky character like Wiggly would be a great addition to the amazing digital circus. It would be interesting to see a character who prefers this digital landscape over the real world. I think he'd be a fun character and could offer many great moments in the series. But his tragic ending would truly be a sad one. But for all we know, he could still be out there. Maybe Wiggly has met a fate far greater than those who abstracted. But as to if that's the case, we'll never know. Alrighty everyone, well that's all we have for today's video, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please consider leaving a like, commenting, and subscribing, it's an absolute and it's greatly appreciated. As always, let me know what you thought of the character of Wiggly and what you'd like to see going forward. Also, a very big thank you to everyone who's watched this video and also who tuned into the last episode as well. The last episode got such great reception and we were more than happy to make another episode of the Digital Circus Character Concept Series. So thank you so much for the likes, kind comments, and overall support. But alrighty, until our next episode, I'll catch you later, bye.